Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Cronin. Um, got a simple little seascape for you today. Um, tried to keep it as, as, as fuss free as I possibly could. Most of it done with the, the large height brush. Um, so let me show you the colours before we go any further. So the palette, so for today's painting I've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, didn't use the alizarin or the raw sienna or the burnt umber and light red so four colours they're all cotton and water colours and then most of it's done with the, the big eight brush just use a little flat brush for some of the uh, the sharp edges and then a number uh, a size zero for the little boats and birds quickly mention the books, I've got four books on Amazon, Watercolour Made, Painted Made Simple Volumes 1, 2, 3 and 4, all step by step guides, I try to keep them as simple as I could, photographic guides to guide you through each painting, so they're available on Amazon, you'll see the link in the description. Oh, let's just wet the paper a bit and then we're going to start with a bit of red yellow in the darker colours pines grey ultramarine Just brushing in from either side just to get a sense of light. I think what I'm going to do now, I want to put another layer over it, so I'm going to dry it first. hold that in place and then I can put another wash over the top of it and try and create a bit more sort of depth and drama to the thing so I'm just going to use this sprayer just to wet it all over a bit then I'm going to start a bit of red and yellow again that's all. red and blue. So just take a clean brush and just take up some of this brush that up there a little bit, just make it a little bit brighter. Blend that together a little bit better than that. Let's 
some of them sky colours into the water area. I think we're now going to just try and suggest a little bit of distant land. So let's see if we have it something like that. with a new brush actually I'm struggling to get that sharp edge on it but that's just giving the impression of sort of giving on in the distance Quite slightly. Not completely, but just enough so that the next layer is going to go on a little bit thicker. A little bit stronger, darker in tone. And it'll look a little bit closer towards us. What I might do now, I was going to use the other brush, the, the flat brush, but I'm going to stick with this for, for a little bit. A bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of Payne's grey. Um, and again, let's, let's take that there like that. Um, I might just drop down some land on that side as well. So it looks like a like some sort of bay. Just scrape a few rocks in, I think. I'm just using this little card here. So just a few rocks up there. Just paint over if I've done too many. Um, and a few on there as well. So this brush, this flat brush here, take some of this dark mix. The water, loosen it up a little bit. Just mix these darks, still too dry. And then just, just straighten some of these up. I would use the, uh, the, the, the height brush for this, but I just can't get that sharp edge on it. I need to get a new one. Give that a quick dry.
And then what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of gouache on me uh, palette there. So if I just take a little bit of that white. I don't know how well it works. I'm not, I've, I've, I haven't really used gouache a lot. I've only just bought it. Um, so I, I don't know how it works so well when you're re-wetting it, like I'm re-wetting all the other colours. Um, but I want to put some boats. You know, some up there. Seems to be okay. Let's have another little boat there. Let's have another one right by there. That's some tiny ones in the distance, I think. A big one there. And I'll we'll just put one more slightly closer right up there. That's quite a big one there. That just gives a little few details going on in the distance. Um, I'll just take a bit of dark. So this is just a size zero rigger brush I'm using. Take a bit of dark. Always do a few little birds a few little birds flying overhead and I think that completes our little scene simple little seascape I'm just going to stick my name down here in the corner so I'm going to pull that one finished so let's stick a man so I can see what it looks like So here's the finished painting with the main on. So if you want to have a closer look at it. So starting with the sky, see our little birds up there flying through these sort of stormy clouds. So we've got sort of light reds and lemon yellows and a bit of ultramarine and Payne's grey up there as well. Just trying to create a bit of variation in the sort of colours and textures. And then bringing it down lighter as it gets towards the horizon line. You see the boats there, just put in the, with the white gouache. Probably put a few too many in, not to worry. And then put in the most distant land first, see how it's sort of softened up, and then the stronger tone one in front of it, just see how it create that sort of depth. Let's use the flat brush to get these sharp edges. The sort of land sweeps through into the foreground. Sort of framed on the left hand side by this land mass, and then scraped a few rocks in using the corner of a plastic card. You can see I sort of preserve this sort of light area coming from the sky through the clouds and then through onto the water into the sea below. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always for your support. Join, uh, remember you can join me over on patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. There's over 200 videos on there exclusive to Patreon. Um, if you get the chance. So until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.